Hi students, now you can discuss the working of a full wave bridge rectifier. We already discussed the working of a center tab to full wave rectifier and we also uh, show some limitation or we also seen some limitation of that uh, center tab to full wave rectifier. Now we introduce this full wave red bridge rectifier in order to remove that limitation. Okay, then the major difference between that full wave bridge rectifier and that center tab full wave rectifier is that the number of diodes used. In this case, we are using four diodes. Okay, so now we want to draw the diagram of that full wave bridge rectifier. So again, it consists of a transformer, then it consists of a four diodes. So I have to draw the diagram of that four diode. This is the diagram of that full wave bridge rectifier. That is, this is D1, this is D2, and this is D3, and this is D4. Okay, then this is load resistance R. Okay, this is the diagram. This is primary, and this is secondary, this is A end, and this is B end. So, this is the diagram of that full wave bridge rectifier. Now we want to discuss the what is the working of this full wave bridge rectifier. Then again we are considering two cycles working of this full wave bridge rectifier. Working of that full wave bridge rectifier. So during positive half cycle. Positive half cycle. End A is positive and end B is negative. And the A is positive and the B is negative. So, we can see the same thing as the same thing as the same thing as the same thing as the This is positive and this is negative. the same thing as the This is forward bias. This is forward bias. This is reverse bias. Then this is negative. That means this is in reverse bias. This is in forward bias. Okay. So, this D1 and D3 will connect. Alright. Okay. D1 D3 will connect. D1 and D3 will connect. Okay, D1 and D3 will connect. During positive half cycle, this D1 and D3 will connect. Then if we look the diagram of that current flow, current flow diagram of current flow, we that means that this portion is not this portion is not this portion is this portion will be like this. Then this This will be like this. So from positive to negative, we have the current direction. We have the current direction. We have the current from R and the direction current entry and the P to N. So this direction of current flow will be like this. This is D1 and this is D3. And if just this remove this portion, we will remove this portion. This will be So during positive half cycle, this two will connect. Then during negative half cycle, Negative half cycle, then that means the polarity is get reversed. That means this become negative and this become positive. At the end, A is negative and B is positive. And A is negative and B is positive. Now, we have to say opposite. We have to say that we have to say that opposite. We have to say that the negative is conductive. That is why we have to say that. D4 conductive. So we can say this D1, sorry, D2 and D4 will conduct. D2 and D4 will conduct. 
B2 and B4 will conduct. Okay. Then if we again look the uh, diagram of that direction of current flow, this will be like this. This is the original car. That is, this is diode. Then there is a resistance. Okay. Then this will be uh, D4. Again, the direction of current flow is from resistance to the current direction. The direction from positive to resistance is the direction. In both cases, the direction of current flow will be the same. Current flow direction is the same pattern. During positive half cycle, D1 and D3 will conduct. During empty half cycle, D2 and D4 will conduct. But the current direction of current flow will be the same. So, this is the working of that full wave bridge rectifier. Now, we can see the diagram that we can see it now. Because we can see the same thing in the same time. At the same time, we can see the same diagram for forward bias. So, if you have a diameter, you can see the diameter in the forward bias. If you have a diameter, you can see the forward bias. If you have a diameter, you can see the direction of current flow. If you have a diameter, you can see the direction of current flow. Now, if you have a forward bias, you can see the direction of current flow. But, if you have a diameter in positive half cycle, there will be a condition of current in two diodes which are diametrically opposed. So, this is the working of that full wave bridge rectifier. During positive half cycle, D1 and D3 will contact. During negative half cycle, D2 and D4 will contact. But the direction of current flow will be always the same. Same direction. Okay. Now, we want to discuss the peak. What is the peak inverse voltage of each diode in bridge rectifier? So, we already defined this peak inverse voltage and and its significance are defined in the same way. Just to note, in this particular case, we have to use the peak in this voltage of each diode. So, we have to use the diode in one time, D1, D3 contact, and we have to use the D2, D4 and we have to use the reverse bias. So, we have to use the D2, D4 forward bias and we have to use the D1, D3 reverse bias. So, in order to find the peak in this voltage, if we draw the equivalent diagram of the circuit, then this will be like this during the positive half cycle. During positive half cycle, half cycle, uh, these two diodes D2, D2 and D4. D2 and D4 is in reverse bias. See the voltage, is, maximum voltage is Vm done by this. The D2, this, this are parallel connection. So, I don't D1 D3 forward bias are the wire pole that represent the angle and equivalent diagram by the case of the angle. Maximum reverse voltage across this, this is plus and this is minus. So, maximum reverse voltage across this D2 is Vm I2. Maximum reverse voltage across D4 and then I2 is Vm and I2. Right, then reverse voltage, but if you have a reverse voltage, each diode will have reverse voltage and then I2 is peak inverse voltage of each diode is equal to Vm. This is our secret to Vm. If you have a negative half cycle, D1 and D3 will be able to use each diode in the reverse voltage of Vm. If you use this equivalent diagram, if there is a positive half cycle, we are representing this like a wire, D2 and D3 as a wire, then we can draw that equivalent diagram like this. So, the voltage drop across the reverse maximum, reverse voltage across each diode will be equal to Vm. That is the peak inverse voltage. So, this is the peak inverse voltage of each diode in bridge rectifier. Okay. Now, we have to discuss the what are the merits and demerits of this full wave bridge rectifier. So, what is the demerit of the full wave bridge rectifier? First demerit term is the first demerit term, it does not, it requires the center attack. But the first demerit term is the first demerit term, it does not require center attack. This is the first demerit of that full wave bridge rectifier. That is the first demerit term, it does not require center attack. Then second one is, if you say that in the case of the center attack, each diode utilizes only half of the input voltage. Here we have to say, Delivers output for delivers output for for full value of input. That is 
the diode is conducting for the full full value of this input the secondary voltage on in the center tap case it is there will be a center portion is the half of the voltage the corresponding high tail is on the voltage it will be the it delivers output for full value of input then third one is this is a unique merit of this bridge replica peak inverse voltage of each diode is half of half of peak inverse voltage of each diode in central tap and you can do a specification here for the same DC output voltage for the same DC output voltage for the same DC output voltage and then peak inverse the case peak inverse voltage VM in the case of peak inverse voltage 2 VM on it but there is a confusion in the center tap of the same item the end of equal in the end of the confusion or in the other one that is it but in the months are kind of the peak inverse voltage of each diode is half of peak inverse voltage of each diode in center tap here the point is important and for the same DC output ஏன்று ஏன்று அது இந்தாக்கான் அல்லை expense கூடான் அல்லைக்கு doping amount கூடும் அல்லைக்கு expense கூடும் அப்பு நம்மல் எப்போயும் எட்டு less expensive வாய்டு எங்கின் எம்க்கு அவுட்புடு கிட்டாலதுனான் efficient ஏட்டு அவுட்புடு கிட்டாலதுனாம் சிக்கியா அது உண்டு என்ன more preferable ஆயிட்டு இங்கிரிட்ச ரக்டிப்பு so this is a unique advantage of that full way of bridge ரக்டிப்பு okay now we want to discuss what are the demerits of this full way of bridge ரக்டிப்பு this requires four diodes then second one is the internal draw across across the diode is high value Healthy <laughs> ஒரு டையோடு போர் ரிவர்ஸ் ஆனா, ஒரு டையோடை அவ்வடை வேறுமுள்ளும் அப்படு RF வேறுமுள்ளும் இவ்வடந்த சம்போய்கும் அட்டேட்டேம் ரண்டு டையோடு கண்டைத்தியின்னும் 2 RF அர்மல் பிரோச்து வேறும் அல்லுங்கள் அத்திரேம் டோப் ஓட்டே டோப் அதிலுட போ so these are the 2 demerits of these center tap, sorry, full way of bridge rectifier so these are the merits and demerits okay, இத்திரையானாயம் Indonesia input voltage and then if you are representing this output voltage output voltage is not represented then if you are output voltage in your area then we are output voltage okay okay so this is F in and this is L the input frequency is F in so we have to find the relation between that output frequency and the input frequency simple on it this case we have to use complete cycle complete in your area every day அது full wave rectifier ஆது சாமித்தந்தை full wave bridge ஆனங்களும் center tap ஆனங்களும் voltageல value சரிய வித்தியாசுந்தாம் பச்ச shape இந்தின்னான same என்னான் கொண்டும் இந்த common ஐட் ஒட்டி அடிக்கி பாரியந்தது அப்போம் இப்படும் தானி இது ஒரு cycle complete input இந்தில் random கையும் 
അല്ലെ ഇതിലൊരു സൈക്കിൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇവിടെ രണ്ട് സൈക്കിൾ പോയി കഴിഞ്ഞു അപ്പൊ അതുകൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് എഴുതാൻ പറ്റും ദിസ് എഫ് ഔട്ട് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ചോയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് എഫ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഈക്വൽ ടു ചോയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ആയിരിക്കും അതായത് സിൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സൈക്കിൾ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ വെയർ റെക്റ്റിവർ ഈസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇൻപുട്ട് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി എഫ് ഔട്ട്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ചോയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി സോ ഇസ് എ റിലേഷൻ ഫോർ ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഫുൾ വേ ബ്രിഡ്ജ് റെക്റ്റിഫയർ ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് സെൻട്രൽ ടാപ്പ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഹാഫ് വേ റെക്റ്റിഫയർ ദിസ് എഫ് ഔട്ട് ആൻഡ് എഫ് ഇൻ ആർ ഈക്വൽ ബട്ട് ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഫുൾ വേ ബ്രിഡ്ജ് റെക്റ്റിഫയർ ദിസ് ആർ എഫ് ഔട്ട്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ചോയ്സ് സെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ വർക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടീക്കൻ വേഴ്സ് വോൾട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി റിലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഫുൾ വേ റെക്റ്റിഫയർ ഫുൾ വേ റെക്റ്റിഫയറിന് പോഷൻ ഇത്രയാണ് ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു